Hello Winning Game fans, I woke up today and came across this tweet from the developer of Slay the Spire who is teasing something new where I'll show you the scale of this thing and my speculations on what it is. Something known as the Triple I Initiative has been formed, one that comes to us from the developers of Darkest Dungeon, Risk of Rain 2, Slay the Spire, Vampire Survivors, V Rising and many others. With their teaser gif pointing towards Pathia Games, developers of My Time at Sandrock, and also Youth Cat Studio, developers of the Factory Builder Titan Spear program. Clicking on their links, which includes Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and interestingly, Bilibili does not reveal all that much, just the same cryptic message listing just those same studios. However, here's where it gets interesting. Attempting to sign up to your email list brings you to a URL under Evil Empire, which is the spin-off developer from Motion Twin which was dedicated to working on Dead Cells, so you're actually signing up to their mailing list instead. Hmm. Also, given that Dead Cells is huge, I wonder why they did not use that in their teaser image. At this point, I'm already so curious and thought that it might be a new publisher since these games were all very financially successful and they could easily pull off funding new games under a larger umbrella corporation. The triple I publisher so to speak. However, given that there are 8 named developers, corporate control and designations on who does what and who gets what splits of the revenue seems unnecessarily complex unless they're just funding partners and will assign a CEO and another team to manage the publishing arm. However, doing a quick search on Twitter just showed the extent of this project since Digital Sun, creators of Moonlighter and Cataclysmo, Megacrit as mentioned earlier, Ghost Ship Publishing and not the developer account Ghost Ship Games, Assemble Entertainment which is an indie publisher, Heart Machine of Hyperlight Drifter and Breaker fame, Darkest Dungeon, The Arcade Crew which is another indie publisher, the long in development Metroidvania Gestalt Steam and Cinder, the early access title Shadows of Doubt, publisher Humble Games, publisher Hooded Horse, the Raven's Watch developer account who are the people that made Curse of the Dead Gods, Gamera Games which is a Chinese publisher, quite okay games who are making the upcoming Leisara Summit Kingdom, Vampire Survivors, Undermine, Chia, Broken Roads, Thunder Lotus, Flintlock The Siege of Dawn, Fireshine Games which is also another publisher and Streets of Rogue 2 have also posted similar tweets so it's a much larger number of developers and publishers involved in this. It is across genres and size and scope of games and themes so I definitely think that there's more than meets the eye. What do you think the Triple I initiative is? Let me know in the comments and I want to see your wildest guesses, bonus points if you're a developer who's involved and want to tease us just a little bit more. Given all the evidence, my guess is, drum roll please. I think they're making a new games distribution platform and store like Steam or the Epic Games Store, only cutting out the middleman this time to give developers either all of the revenue or a much more favourable split. In case you didn't know, Steam's cut is 30% and Epic's is 12% so that's a significant chunk of revenue going to these stores instead of the developer. I think that the Epic Games Store has not moved players or Fortnite in sufficient volume to justify releasing other games, let alone indie games on there, so Steam is still effectively a monopoly with this triple I initiative being a counterweight to that. The biggest indie developers with the most successful games might be able to change player behaviour enough since imagine the absolute chaos if the next game from Megacrit or Evil Empire is exclusive to the servers. They can do more player friendly things like what GOG used to do with GOG Connect in scanning your Steam library and giving you a free copy of the game on GOG if you own it on Steam. The store can also be much more curated without asset flips and porno games that Steam has become indonated with these days which increases visibility for developers and if anyone from there is watching and this is the plan to consider an affiliate model like GOG so that creators can help drive traffic there. Anyway, we will know more in 15 days so stay tuned for what could potentially be a game changer for indie games. Oh, and if you're a developer, be sure to sign up to my free guide on marketing your indie game, link in the description below and in the meantime, watch this video for 100 of the best games of 2023.